Welcome to the last part of our racetrack tutorial. Today, we'll import our racetrack into Unreal Engine. First, open your Blender project file and create a backup. Now, create a new collection and name it Export. This collection will contain all the meshes that need to be exported. Select the terrain. Add a decimate modifier to reduce geometry and optimize the mesh. Once you're satisfied, move the terrain into the export collection. Then hide that collection for now. Next, join all the flag meshes into one single object. Move that to the export collection as well. For roads and fences, we'll create smaller sections. This helps improve performance using level of detail. Select the road, go into edit mode, and clear all the seams. Now, add seams across the road to define sections. Select each section and separate it. Move the separated road segments into the export collection. Now, let's segment the fences and rails. First, apply all the modifiers on the fence. Then unhide a single road section. Using that as reference, select the nearby fence mesh in wireframe mode. Separate it out. Repeat the same process for each fence segment. Move each completed segment into the export collection. Repeat until all fences and rails are separated just like the roads. Next, we'll create collider walls. These will stop the car from going off the track during gameplay. Add a cube, then scale it into a long wall. Add a few loop cuts to give it enough geometry. Rename it to collider wall. Create a new material and assign it to the wall. Then add an array modifier and a curve modifier. Use the same curves from our fences to align the wall properly. Make collider walls for both the inner and outer sides of the track. Move them to the export collection as well. 
Now, hide every other collection except the export collection. Make sure everything looks fine. Rename each object clearly and consistently. Set the origin of all objects to the world center. Now, select all meshes in the export collection and export them as FBX. Launch Unreal Engine. Create a new game project with the vehicle template selected. Once the project opens, create a new folder for our assets. Inside it, create three folders. Static mesh, materials, and textures. This helps keep everything organized. Now, go to the static mesh folder and import the FBX file. Uncheck generate missing collisions, and import everything. After import, move each asset into its appropriate folder. Use the filter option in the content browser to make this easier. Next, fix the materials. Make sure each texture is connected to the correct node in the material shader. For the fence material, set the blend mode to masked. Then, use the alpha channel of the color texture as the opacity input. If any texture is missing, simply import it and set it up in the material manually. Once materials are ready, open the collider wall static mesh. In the details panel, scroll to the collision section. Set the collision complexity to use complex collision as simple. Do the same for the terrain and other walls. Now, go back to Blender. Hide everything, then unhide the trees collection. Join all the trees together. Now, add a cube, parent all trees to it, and enter edit mode. Delete the cube mesh, leaving just the trees. Rename the object to trees, then export it as FBX. Import the trees into Unreal Engine.
use the same material setup as the fence. Now, create a new level with basic lighting. Delete the default floor. From the content browser, select all your static meshes. Drag and drop them into the viewport. With all meshes selected, set their origin to center using the details panel. Now check for player collisions. Let's make the collider wall material invisible. So it still works but isn't visible during gameplay. Once everything looks fine, go to world settings. Set the game mode to vehicle advanced game mode. Now go full screen and press alt plus p to play the game. The car will not leave the track, thanks to the collider walls we created. Thanks for watching the complete series. All project files are linked in the description. Please subscribe for more tutorials.